Hey you guys, today we have uh, the Intel Gaming uh, Nook again, and today we're going to be adding a second M.2 drive to our Intel Gaming Nook here. We just need a little bit more hard drive space. You can usually, what you usually do is you have a smaller uh, M.2 drive and you saw the OS and, you know, programs, some things like that, and then if you have a lot of video games, you might need a second drive. So it's as easy as just removing the uh, six screws on top here so we're going to go ahead and remove these screws and I'll go ahead and pause this while I go ahead and unscrew those screws and you can also do the same practice if you are just replacing a drive or you're adding another drive to here just you can do the same thing I'm just showing you how we can add a second drive here because you actually get two slots to put two M.2 drives in here alright we got our last screw done there now we can remove the top cover and then we do need to remove another screw here so this is the last screw you need to remove so then we can remove this casing off we can get that out of the way and you can see we have two M.2 slots here so we have this as our main uh, one terabyte drive with the OS and everything and we're running out of room because some of the games we have are like you know 100 gigs 80 gigs now so they were taking up a lot of space so we're going to add that 500 gig here so we can use that as like a storage drive just for our game files so let's go ahead and remove that screw once you have that screw removed we can go ahead and add that drive into there and now we can just put that screw back and that's how easy it is to add a second m.2 drive so now we can go ahead and put this casing back on. And we are done, you guys. All right, once we boot the computer back up, we need to go to our disk manager. Then we need to initialize the disk. As soon as we click on disk management, you should get this pop-up. So we need to initialize it, so we hit OK. You can see it's gonna take a second. Then we should be able to, to click on it and then right click and then do new simple volume. Then you're going to get another wizard that pops up, and we just hit next. We want to use the maximum storage, which is fine. We're going to assign this D for our data drive, so we'll just put in data right there. But you can name it whatever you want, and hit finish. And then you can see that it's formatting, and now we can go to my computer, and we should have a C drive and a D drive now. So you can see now we have our C drive, which is getting low on the storage. And then we have our D drive, so now we can go ahead and tell Steam to install our game files. Or if we just want to offload some of the files from the C drive to the D drive, we can do that as well. But now we have an extra 500 gigs in this little mini Intel Nook uh, to do uh, some more file storage with. Thanks, you guys. Hope this video was helpful. This is how easy it is to add a second M.2 drive to your Intel Nook gaming computer.